Okay, I'm just going to explain really quick how to mount a knot inside the blank. So what you first do is get a double epoxy. And when you do, take scissors and cut this part right here, the hammer, just so it's not locked together because sometimes it comes out at different rates and you want equal parts. So with that said, I've already taken the liberty of cutting this before I began filming because you know how to do that. But one part on the end of the knot like that and then an equal part. Oops, that'll happen sometimes. So what you're going to need is a toothpick and get it off the threads immediately if it does go on the threads and wipe that with a paper towel. But that's one part of the epoxy. Now you just mix it up right on the end of the knot there. And then I push it around the sides like this. With the toothpick still. And it's got a little bit more glue here. So again, two parts, one part the right side, one part the left side, equal parts again, and then once more we mix that up, and work it into the sides. Okay, so that's great coverage right there. So I'm just put this stuff on the down. Here, hold it up. And there we go. Just give it a little twist. Just the glue's in there. And see where the knot is. This is 24 millimeters too. But I just gave it a little twist just to wind it up. And then I would just let this stand up to dry for 24 hours. And that's how you set the knot. Again, this is 24 millimeters. That's what I recommend for this. If it's smaller than 24, you can, you know, you would just push down the knot a little and it would lock in there. Uh, but that's pretty much what you're working with right there. So thanks for watching. And that's how to fill a blank.